So let's get our RTL SDR dongle working with SDR Play, which works great. So all you do is go to Software Downloads, scroll down, it says here, click, click here, not the start, go click here. And then just download here, window, I'm doing Windows, you, if you've got Mac, Linux, all that, that's the top one, but I just want to do Windows. Scroll down, click download SDR Uno, click download, and then literally just follow it through. Because if I do it again now, it's going to, uh, it's going to um, tell me I've already got it. Just click that and follow the instructions through. I'll go as far as I can. Keep, uh, keep, continue to download. See if it does it. SDR Uno installer, like so. It says if it's the first time, you're going to need to restart. And that's it. You, you literally just go next, 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 next. Eventually, you will get uh, all the files installed. Now, what you need to do is as they're installing, remember where it puts your SDR play, for example, mine. If I go to the left here, if I go to local disk, then go to program files 86 is where it all it by default put mine, but you need to look and see where it puts yours and then scroll down and let you'll see somewhere here we've got SDR play unless it's moved it all of a sudden. LMNOPQRSD. Not showing up now, but mine showed up there. STR play. You just need to know where it's been put and then follow the rest of the video. Now, at the bottom, you have a yellow file. Click it. Go on the left here. You've got this new window. Click local disk C here. Now we're going to locate where the file was. Now, remember, we saw that it put the program in program files 86 here. So click that, double click it. Scroll around and look for SDR play. There you are, SDR play is here, double click. Double click again, and you can see we've got this list of files. One of them is called sdruno.extio, this one here. So now right click it, and we're going to send it to our desktop. So if it doesn't come up here with a send to option, go to the bottom and say it says show more options. Now we're going to go up to send to create desktop. Click that. Now we need to go to a link to download the DLL. The link is here and I shall put the link in the description. Click this folder here, EXTIO RTL SDR. So you can see me circling around it. So we're going to click it. And it's I'm on Windows 11, it's created a file. We'll click the file on the top right here. We just want to put it somewhere where we can use it. So if I minimize, find the file again. And see I've created a file here called EXTRO. And I'm just going to grab it and drag it and drop it into that file. And then when you double click it, the file's there. Okay, so now we'll right click and we'll just extract it where it is. So show more options. We're going to put, where is it? So you may not have WinRAR, so I thought I'd better show you that. Open a new window and go to WinRAR, WinRAR. W-I-N-R-A-R, -R, click download, and just download the one at the top, I'm in the UK, 64-bit, just download it and run it, okay? Just to make sure you've got WinRAR. It's a free program, quite useful. Okay, and then you've got that. So that's worth having. So, back to this folder. Right click, go down to WinRAR, and click extract here and now 
Inside that folder, you've got these two DLL files, they call them. At the top, you've got the EXTIO DLL and the RTSDR DLL. Now we need to just select both. So just do one at a time, we'll just go, actually we'll just drag them. So we're gonna drag them into my document. So go back to the yellow file at the bottom here, right click and click File Explorer and then look for documents here. So on the left here, we've got documents. Click that and we're in the documents file. And all we're gonna do is click on one of these at a time and drag and drop. There's one, two. Hopefully they're there, you've got the two DLL files now in your documents. So just close them for now. So now go to your shortcut. Now on your screen, you've got SDR Uno. That's the one we want, EX shortcut, keep that one. The other one, if you haven't got the RS Play items, just for now, delete it, delete it, because we don't want to get confused. Now we're going to and make sure that you've got your RTL dongle installed and you would have installed this in the past with a different software and hopefully you've got the drivers the drivers for your RTL STR if not send me a message and I'll send you the link to the video to install those drivers so for now double click SDR shortcut here you get this window here and with a bit of luck we should be able to start using SDR Uno so what happened with me is I've only got one window here. So what you do is select these SP windows here. So if you look here, it says SP1. So I just click that, watch. And this one appeared, it's the main, the main one. So we're just gonna put that here. SP2, that's the auxiliary window. So we'll just put that here for now. Receive window, let's put that here. Let's click them all. Receive, SP, SP1. We've got some optional items here as well. Record panel, that can go here. Where's our memory panel? So as we go through, we will discover the different panels that we can have. What's that one? That's settings. And if anyone else has done this and, there's, and they know how to make all the windows just appear the first time, let me know. But this is okay for now. It depends, I think, on uh, on which operating system you're running. If we just press play up here, look on the left. We can hear some activity there, or we can hear got our bandwidth there. HF antenna, we need to select, no, the antenna is connected. Manage to find our memory panel. We can store memories. The only thing I'm thinking is, yeah, we are receiving something, but I can't see that we're receiving HF. If there's further settings to do, we can choose different windows here. It seems very quiet there. I'm not really getting anything. So do I have to select somewhere else? Let's click some more windows. I think that's enough for now. We've got it working. Send me some messages if there's anything else I can do so that I can actually receive the frequencies correct. Maybe I just typed in the frequency wrong. I did type 40 meters here, 20. Maybe it's just quiet. Couple of signals there. And then we've got another little settings window here. Play around with the spectrum and ETC. In this EX control window, that's our noise blanker ETC. AGC. I think I'm close, all I'm not getting, I don't, I feel like it's 
Should be more activity. But it could just be quiet. Let's just see if we can find uh, two. We'll find my local 70 centimeter node.
If you've got the version 4 RTL SDR, instead of using the previous file, use this file here. Click it, extract, and you'll see that there's a different EXO RTL DLL. Pop that one in instead of the other one, and hopefully that will make your version 4 work. I'll do a separate video doing that as well, but for now, the one that did work for me was the version 3. Thanks for watching my channel again. 7-3.